we have come a long way. Here's the new greenhouse, totally finished. Um, there's a couple of final things that we have to do. Um, we have our systems hooked up, ready to roll, and catfish. So we bought this uh, commercial greenhouse kit. Um, it was pretty easy to put together, honestly, and uh, we bought a couple of storm doors from Lowe's. Um, here's our greenhouse. This is the two systems that we had before. And here's all of our extra space that we have. Um, again, tilapia and goldfish. Uh, I would love to see uh, to show you the fish, but I dosed it with some iron because our plants were showing some iron deficiency. And now we can't really see the fish in the water. So I think I'm going to decide on spraying uh, the iron additive onto the, le the plant leaves that are showing the deficiency rather than putting it in the water in the future. Um, so we have some cucumbers there, there's some kale, uh, some I think that's bell peppers, uh, great white tomatoes, um, the romaine I can't figure out, I don't know why it's doing this, uh, I'll look up a deficiency chart later. Um, we have some totally delicious uh, stuff right here. Some bibs lettuce. Um, actually, that's arugula. That's not romaine. Um, but the, this romaine is great. The cabbage is good. The, the uh, bibs lettuce is awesome. We have our uh, red pear tomato going right there. Sugar snap peas. And our jalapenos, which we weren't even noticing, but we had an aphid infestation. Um, so they're, they look to be bouncing back. Um, we've replaced the plumbing in order to get put a spreader on here. If you notice, we have water coming all around two sides. Um, but uh, now it's just uh, ready for those things to grow. Here's the original system. Um, nice and cleared out. We have a mysterious plant right there that I think was just some seed that made it in there. Um, the mint over here looks pretty good. Um, the simple system, as we call it, uh, we have a pH of 7.6, ammonia uh, 0.25, nitrites is zero, and nitrates is uh, you know, over 100. So this uh, system is primed, cycled, and ready to go. Um, we just bought channel catfish that I put in here um, about five minutes ago. They look to be doing pretty well. And then we have our mysterious interlopers. We have a snail problem. So I'm assuming that these snails are bad. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to do with the snails. I'm hoping that the catfish might eat some snails. Uh, I'm trying to clear out the snails every time I see them. Uh, I'm hoping that it's not too far gone. Uh, I'm hoping that we don't have to replace all the media. So hopefully we don't. Uh, I'm going to try and get a handle on these snails. Um, future developments. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to do here. Uh, what we might do is do a deep water culture, maybe a raft system, or um, like a PVC tube system um, that goes back and forth and grows stuff. Uh, I would like a, a work table over here, um, some tables or some uh, chairs for students. Um, as far as the systems go, we're going to add a swirl filter um, to one or both of these systems. Uh, and hopefully we can get uh, metal racks uh, welded together uh, for these two media beds and for these two media beds. I'm kind of sick of the cinder blocks uh, and I don't trust these tables for very much longer. Uh, so yeah, we're doing really well. Uh, hopefully there's more cold weather because uh, you know I, I would love for this greenhouse to withstand some more cold weather. So there we go. Uh, greenhouse finished. Systems finished and plumbed and, and good to go. Now we're just reaching our stride here. So uh, we're gonna grow stuff, uh, hopefully fast. And the tilapia need to fatten up. And the goldfish, we can't, you know, we can't eat or anything. So we'll probably put some koi in the goldfish, uh, with the goldfish in the sump. Uh, and then, you know, maybe there's some kind of fish that we can put in uh, that coexists with the catfish. Uh, because I feel like that that fish tank has a, a little bit of a higher capacity for fish. Uh, so if you have any questions at all, come by B19. Um, otherwise, uh, leave a comment, 
Uh, if you have any questions about my system, uh, I know that there's stuff that I'm probably not doing perfectly, so if you have any comments or anything like that, um, let me know.